everybody and thank you for coming today. We are going to be um, doing an exercise of entering sacred space. And everybody can do this anywhere they want. For this exercise, what we had put out as an intent was to have nine people to enter the sacred space and um, um, basically connect with Gaia, create a type of portal that others can will experience because this is a public park, it's a public trail, people will walk through there all the time. Uh, for the same reason that they can do that, it's, it's probably, um, it's going to be unlikely that it will last very long. Yeah, and that's why uh, we are setting up the Global Ascension Center, which is taking land from private hands and putting it onto the human collective. And because people have given that energy into it, that's part theirs. Yeah, that's the energy exchange. It won't belong to one person; it will belong to the human collective. And then those locations, because of the rules and regulations that the planet works on at the moment, um, it's kind of. Uh, so it's, it has a boundary, yeah, and that boundary says high vibration only enters here, that thing. And then the, the individuals who enter will also have all the material, informational, educational material that will show them how to enter that, that um, sacred space. And part of what we're doing today is doing, is doing exactly that, yeah. We're going to learn how to enter a sacred space. Mm. One of the first things that we do, and that's why I'm like I started talking here, we haven't entered. This is a huge, huge park, yeah, and it's all connected. All the trees are connected, all the plants are connected, all the rocks are connected. The first thing is to acknowledge that they are alive. Every single rock, every bit of dust, every blade of grass, every tree, not just alive but sentient. They have elementals what we call elementals and we uh, all are the, the 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 invalidated story of humanity has talked about fairies and elves and trolls and all sorts of elementals some of them very friendly to humans some of them not so friendly and also animals have elementals and we have elementals and as we are about to enter, we first of all, each of us will ask permission to enter. Yeah. So we ask permission to enter and we really listen to the answer. Because when we ask for permission to enter, we're not all going to get a yes. We might all get a yes. And some of us might feel, how do we feel if we are being told, mm, I don't know about you? Well, we feel afraid. We feel, I don't think, I think there's something odd about this area. I don't think I want to stay, you know, or, oh gosh, I've got, I've got to go because I have, you know, I forgot that I left the stove on. <laughs> the bugs <laughs> you start go, biting you. The bugs bite, yeah. Oh, sometimes that can be a greeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> um, it's like a giving, yeah? Yeah. You're, you're like giving to the local <laughs> the creatures. <laughs> So that's the first thing we're going to do is just to ask permission, each of us individually, and then we're going to walk the trail until we find the location that is, um, that, that is basically would hold our energy. Um, we're going to leave our luggage behind as well. So if we had problems, if we had processes, if we, had, if we came here to ask for something, whether it be guidance or answers or some sort of connection or something, we're going to take that and we're going to imagine it like a little bag and we're going to hang it from one of these trees or something to hold for us. When we come back, we can take it back with us or we can release it to the environment, you know, like compost to the trees, yeah? So th that's the first thing we're going to do and then we're just going to walk down and find the location when we, when we enter, this is such a huge area and some of the um, energies from the human collective here is like, oh, it's very dry, it's dead, it has no life, um, it's, it's suffering, that type of thing are projections. Yeah? And what we do is basically 
go through that. Like we process that, you know, like dryness, you're welcome here. I don't know if all of you are um, familiar with the fear processing exercise. Use it, yeah? If there's any, there are mountain lions here, there, there's bears, there's rattlesnakes, there's um, um, that uh, I ivy thing that stings. Poison ivy. Poison, poison ivy, poison yeah. Ivy. <laughs> and um, all sorts of things that could affect us in a negative way uh, if that's what we're here to experience. So when we process all the fears and all the, the, the wants and if you brought any tiny crystals or anything you wanted to give the land, do not. We're not here to alter the land, we're here to connect with her, okay? So we're not going to be giving any crystals or try to fix the location which is very human to do, like it's a tendency that we have. We enter a place and we want to fix it, especially if we find that it's, it's sacred. We bring an offering. Offerings are part of a... Each culture has very specific ways to offer and they have a reason. When you offer something in, an, in a native culture, when you go to a, a temple or a um, sacred site and you offer, you actually are asking for something yeah so it's like an energy exchange no that's not what we're going to be doing today we're going to be activating a portal of sacred land which means we and the land are going to become one with one intent to raise the vibrational level of the planet or whatever intent that translates to you or to become one with gaia which is gaia is perfectly fine she's doing great <laughs> And so that, that's going to be what we're going to do. So I'd say the first thing would be to, if you need to close your eyes or, you know, if you can do it with your eyes open, look at a tree or something and um, just request permission to enter. Yeah. Element and energy, we come. Um, the elementals have a very hierarchical format of life, and but they're not a power over others, but responsibility over others. They're, they're the higher in their hierarchy, the more responsible they are for more things. And when we are, as we enter, they see us as children because we have no idea what we're doing, right? And uh, they allocate. Uh, one of them, w for each person here, some of us are getting two or three, to guide us, to walk with us, to make sure they scare the snakes away and stuff, you know? So, um, if you can feel for that elemental, you, you probably start feeling them, one or two or even more, around you as they are get allocated. And it's a very vibrational allocation, so you know it's like each person will get an elemental that's very resonant to their own energy. It's, it's really cool. Mm. This is the end of this one. <laughs> Do you want to take a? Let's take a little. Yeah, let's take a little look. This is what happens in um, public areas. You can see, you can sense that this is an an energy point through the views and the the energy lines are coming through here. But you see all the garbage that people have left, and all the plastic bits, clothes, and you know, this is what's happening with humanity and why 
it's so important if you do have land, you know, you can create sacred space there. And um, unfortunately, why boundaries are ne necessary at this point in time? Maybe in 10 years, 20 years, they won't be necessary anymore. Yeah. But for now, and if you, have, if you get any charge about righteousness with regards to this, process it because this is what it is. It's not negative or positive, it just is. This is part of our existence and our lives as, as modern human beings, yeah? And we didn't bring a bag so we can't clean it up. That would be the savior energy, <laughs> right? It's really difficult to enter a location such as this and not try to fix it. Yeah, it's really, really hard, but it's something that it's important, yeah? If you come with the intent to fix it, then fair enough, bring bags, gloves and everything, go into a park, and clean it up, organize yourselves and clean it up. But when you come in to be and not to affect, it's difficult to move away and leave all this behind, yeah? Where it is, but that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> As you walk through, um, these locations, it might appear that there isn't much life, but if you, right here, I want you to just sense into the underground. Just sense into the underground, you find all sorts of little creatures there, like rabbits and moles and worms and insects and bugs and stuff. It's teeming with life, it's full of life. Yeah, we say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> they're not they're not here to affect you, yeah? They're here no, they say you meet somebody a friend for the first time and are you there to affect them? No, you're there to say hi, to get to know them, right? Connect. Connect, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. And one of the things that also can happen very easily is that the person would want to take them home with them, right? Uh -huh. And it's important for you to, to say, okay, I'm going home now. Uh, you can stay here, but some people will want to take them home and invite them, but never grab and imagine that you have that with them all the time. In a way, if you want to create a forever connection with these elementals, you can do it in a form that um, it's through time space. You know, it's like you have a connection, you can talk to them whenever, but not invade their space or allow them to invade yours. Yeah. So it's like there's boundaries and the human construct for them, it's extremely heavy and full of stuff. It's very interesting as well. Yeah. It wasn't them who disconnected from us. We used to work as one on the planet, but it was us who disconnected from them to have a very different type of experience. And, um, and they don't have any judgment on that. Yeah. But it can be uncomfortable for them to enter cities. Yeah. Uh, especially if they came from here, there are elementals in the city. Yeah. And they, they are used to those energies. But here is an elemental from here would find it a little bit harsh to enter a city. So, yeah, just, you know, use your intuition. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not about affecting anything. They don't affect, we don't affect. Yeah? We have to do it consciously. We have to consciously go around, well, I'm not going to affect this. <laughs> they don't have to. They do it naturally. <laughs> so it's a good question, thank you. This tree's been out here for a while, and um, I'd like us to see if we can try and learn or um, map to its lack of I, me, and myself. Okay? So if you have any feeling of having to be yourself or be seen, be validated, be acknowledged, be loved, uh, any need to feel special or separate or different to anybody else here, 
then uh, map into this tree and let us or request for it to hold that for you until we come back. Yeah? We're walking into a built up area, like um, one of the picnic areas, and the energy is already changing. Can you sense it? There's like a, an energy change where there's human uh, effect on the land with buildings. Buildings hold energy. I'd like you to sense into the energies. It's only a little building. It's human habitation, a toilet, and there's like um, an, an energy, uh, like a veil that, that covers it, yeah? So as we go past it, we're going to sense the veil and it's very similar to the veil of forgetfulness that we all went through when we entered the planet. Um, there's like, um, like a, uh, the mists of Avalon as well, that's another one that comes up. You go through the mists and you, you can see and you can feel the sense of importance of the human race with regards to the building, comfort and all the other things. It's a good thing. It's just different to the energy we were sensing with all the animals that were underground, the trees, yeah? It's different. It's not better. It's not worse. It's simply different. So I'd like you to really have that sense of how the energy changes, so we get close to it and then we're going to go around and how that, you know, feel the energies, feel the essence because that will be able, that you'll be able to um, move back into your cities, your houses and everything without that sense of um, like lowering of vibration. Because sometimes we feel that human construct and everything is lowering vibration, it isn't, it's just different. It's a different re reality, as it were, yeah? So let's just go through it and then the other side and see how the energies change when we get to the other side. I'll try over here. As you walk through nature, keep your eyes on the ground. Make sure you don't step on a rattlesnake, okay? <laughs> I think this is a good spot for us to um, do the, the main exercise. The reason I've asked the, the puppies to be moved out of the circle is because our dogs are uh, domesticated. Yeah? And they will have, uh, they have six sense, they, ha they can sense things, energies, and if they don't understand them, they will try and scare them away because they're here to protect us. Yeah, so by putting them somewhere outside of the field, then the elementals energies can come in. We can connect with Gaia without them feeling threatened and uh, trying to protect us. <laughs> so we're just going to be silent for a few minutes. Uh, as you enter that space of silence, um, the intent would be that basically acknowledging that everything that you can sense see here, including the human constructed elements, sounds, are alive. Yeah? They're sentient, alive essences. Like every bit of grass, the trees, even the trees that appear to be dead, they're, they're alive, they're, they're, the, the energy, the essence is there. If you feel any fear, any judgment with regards to nature, sounds or anything, allow them to exist in your field, yeah? Allow the energy of fear or anger or righteousness or savior 
to exist in your field, you welcome it. And start feeling the beauty. There's beauty in the dry grass, there's beauty in the trees, there's beauty in the tarmac, in the cars. It's all part of this environment. So tarmac, car, cell phone, you're welcome here. Sometimes what can happen is when we're welcoming things that are humanly created, we start losing connection with the elementals. So then we go back. That separation is our construct, our human construct. So sense of disconnect, you're welcome here. I allow you to exist in my field. It's our intent to reactivate the sacredness of this space into our reality. A lifting of the veil between worlds. Let this be a place where we can be one with all. In this space, we are the earth, we are the grass, we are the trees and the dirt, we are the animals below us and above us, we are the elementals. For the next few minutes, I'd like you to sit and hear the wind hear the grass and the trees, observe, hear, sense, taste, feel with your skin, with your emotions, without judgment, without affecting, or without wanting to be affected. Just observe. If you get any resistance, observe the resistance and allow it to exist. Now intend to be the rain, the air, the wind, the grass, the dust, the trees, the animals, the birds, the insects, the elementals in this location. It is our intent that the veil between the high vibrational expression of Gaia and her physicality, what we might consider to be fifth dimension, ten dimension, be fully expressed here in this spot. And the veil that separates that physicality from the human construct reality will not exist here. A portal, a gateway, a node of communication exists here. May the journey to multidimensional expression be easier here for anyone who enters. We are grateful and thank the elementals who have joined us today and request that they too add any intent, energy, or construct that they feel happy with, comfortable with, and joyful with. We give permission as representatives of the human collective who have been called here today for this sacred spot, this portal of multidimensionality to 
become as large as it needs to be or wants to be to encompass the entire planet if the entire planet wills it and allowing all the locations around the planet where the veil is very thin to become thinner still know that we have been acknowledged that the land elementals have acknowledged us that each of us at any time anyone on the planet can be a representative of the human race and can have that representation be the highest of intention and vibration Who could stay here all day? <laughs> <laughs> that feeling, that can be with you always. If you connect, things change. <laughs>